What's up YouTube, uh, Mr. Bonka Bazooka bringing you a video about my thoughts on the new Call of Duty that's been announced. So, Infinite Warfare. You know, it's Call of Duty set in space. Call of Duty's gone from being World War 2 to fucking space. Uh, I'm not really excited about it. I'm wondering if you're really excited about it. Let me know if you are. But most of the people I've talked to aren't excited about it. And judging by the comments on like the... Facebook pages and the forums, nobody else is excited about it either. But what people are talking about is that they're finally bringing back Modern Warfare Remastered. Which is going to be excellent, it's going to be a fucking ace game. Or is it? Or are they going to fuck it up like they fucked up the rest of Call of Duty? Because they've just stopped listening to the fans and they've just turned into a cash cow where they're just greedy as fuck. And they want to get a lot of money. Now alright, you've got to sp you've got to make money for these games, I understand that. They've got people to pay, you know, people have got to eat. And call it, you know, they, they did used to make some pretty sick games, but I'm just not feeling it anymore. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna get Infinite Warfare just to get Call of Duty 4 remastered because it's gonna be a solid game. But it'll only be a solid game if they don't add macro transactions and if they don't start dicking about all this customization shit and if they give you all the content that they should do. But they're not gonna do that because they've already said it's gonna ship with 10 maps. Now, Call of Duty 4 shipped with 16 maps, and then later on they brought out 4 maps, DLC, 5 quid, I mean, it's fucking 12 quid now for a DLC map, for pack for fucking Call of Duty, and the shit, and they're adding fucking zombies and all that crap, I mean, I'm not a fan of zombies either, but yeah, they just, I just think it's it's a bit of a piss take now, because people are saying, yeah, we want you to make Call of Duty 4 remastered, instead of just making, like, a fucking... Mm. A Master Chief Collection kind of thing where they bring back Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and Modern, War Modern Warfare 2, sorry, and Modern Warfare 3. Just met them, remaster them, bring back all the maps for them, sell it for a special edition box set for £100 or whatever. I'd fucking buy that shit. There's loads of maps and loads of quality games. You know, all my friends played them games. Now I'm the only one of my friends on the Xbox who plays Call of Duty. In fact, I don't even play that anymore. I just think Black Ops 3 is a lot of shit, jump around like a fucking rabbit all over the map. It, it, it's, it's just not the same anymore. I, I mean, I like Ghosts. A lot of people didn't like Ghosts. I thought it were alright. I didn't think it were a bad game. There were things wrong with it, but never mind. So, you know, but to, for Call of Duty to say, alright, and yeah, we'll all make Call of Duty 4 remastered. But you've got to buy the Infinite Edition. What the fuck's that about? You know, they've obviously got no faith in the game, having to buy a game to get it. You, you know, it's just big like big fuck you. We're gonna make this game, and you're gonna have to buy it because they've, they've even said that they're not gonna, they're not planning to sell it a standalone. So I don't know. I might just be waffling on all this shit, but if if I thought that. My game was any good, and I had confidence in it. I'd just sell them both, and so I think people would buy both, but they're not going to do that, are they? So, I mean, maybe later on they will buy it standalone, but to not fucking ship it with a full map, I mean, come on, it's a remastered game, you've already made it. You know, you have to pay for the other fucking 10 maps, it's going to be obvious, isn't it? But, I just think it's a lot of shit, to be honest. And I think now that it's just going to go downhill even more. You know, fucking. They'll probably bring out a good special edition for it. It'll cost a shitload of money, and then they'll fucking ram the fucking season pass down you for all that they always do. And then the old maps are forgotten about, and if you don't get the season pass, you don't really get any of the benefits anymore. You're just treated like a fucking substandard fucking consumer. I mean, it's, it's fucking appalling. This is not a whinge, it's just I'm just expressing what I believe to be how it is you know like he is the same like, I love Battlefield and I love fucking Star Wars but Battlefield 3 were great Battlefield 4 were fucking crap eventually it were a good game Star Wars when that first released it were a fucking rip off now it's a good game when you're not paying 45 quid for it you get like 25 pound at Asda or some shit but the, the season pass is still 40 quid you know people Gaming companies just aren't asked anymore about the fans. I've not played a game where I thought, fucking wow, this is revolutionary, this is ace. 
I've not felt that for a long time. Maybe I'm just hard to please. I don't know. But um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. If you think it, I've got a valid point, or if you think I'm talking about shit, uh, and give it a like as well and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later.